Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Maw type run of EV Emerald. Last time... Okay, whatever, dude. Last time we beat Watson. In the cheapest way I possibly could. With the power of money. This time, we're gonna start things off by talking to these guys. Now, while we battle them, I'm gonna address something that I'm pretty sure some of you are thinking. Wasn't it kind of cheap the way I beat him? Maybe a bit unfair? You know what I say to that? Fuck off! You know why? His Magneton is underleveled by eight levels. Yes, you can catch underleveled Magneton at New Mauville, but the lowest level you can find a Magneton at in, the, in this game is level 26. Ergo, Watson is a cheater. So I don't feel any shame for beating him the way that I did. He deserved it. Watson's a little bitch. Get over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're professional bullshitters. Hmm. What should I say to the people at home to piss them off as much as I can? Hmm. 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 You know what? Fuck television. Anyway, moving on. Shroomish! <sighs> Just... Fuck off. Stop wasting my time. And down you go. Level up! Now, since I don't want to waste too many of my items, I'm just gonna make a quick run back to the Pokémon Center. See you in a second. And we're back! So! Well, first we have this guy to talk to. But, up ahead is something pretty important I need to show you guys. But first, let's take out a Sand Troop. Anyway, moving on. So, well, actually, first let's take this guy out. And maybe the one after that, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. If I recall correctly, you're a dark type, so we're not going to use confusion. I know it's evolved form as a dark type. Down you go. All right, so, I want you to take a look at something. You see this? This isn't here in vanilla or in the hack normally. And you know why it's here? I edited the map. Because this is the part of the game where you will eventually get softlocked because the guy who made this hack is a shitty programmer. I don't know how he broke the level transitions, but he did. This is a quick and dirty fix that I made to get around it. Who's gonna, now, of course, I could just go to, La to Lava Ridge Town right now, but nah, I gotta stick to the honor system. Who's gonna build the roads, they ask? Me, apparently.
And I should note, that is not the only point in the game that I had to fix. There are two other locations that I had to make some alterations to, because, again, the hack dev broke something. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Allegedly, there is a newer version that fixes this problem, but all the download links I could find for this one were version 1.0. So... Well, at this point, if I was to download the fixed version, if it really does exist, I would have to start over, and I'm far enough in that at this point, I really don't feel like it. So, we're just gonna do this. Just quick, dirty fixes. Also, I added a random drill dozer, because bitches love drill dozers. I was tempted to add a, bu a bunch of NPC icons, you know, just, you know, the DRG crew. But, nah. And there goes that hiker. There's another hiker as well that I'm going to take on, just real quick. Again, slow level up group. I need to get experience from any source I can. Yeah, we're going to see a lot more fire types coming up. Especially, well, our next gym, the next gym leaders will be fire type. I am really not looking forward to that. You thought Watson was annoying? And let me put it this way, at least Watson gives you a chance to deal some damage. Flannery does not, because Flannery has access to a move called Overheat. Oh boy, that's going to suck. And now we go onto the fiery path. Actually, let me show you something real quick. Oh, never mind. I guess this is the one level transition that isn't broken on this map. Okay. I'll show you what I mean later to explain why I had to alter the map. Um, so, yeah, you find stuff like Torkoal in here. Um, Slugma. Coughing or Grimer, depending on the game you're playing. Eh, yeah, we'll knock it out, just quickly level up. And... Well... I'll talk about that when I get there. Oh yeah, in a, uh... I think in one playthrough, it was either here or on another route, I actually found a shiny. Um... Two shinies, actually! I found two shiny Slugma in different playthroughs. In different monotypes. One of them I was actually able to use. I was doing a rock monotype. Okay. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna use a repel real quick. So, that strength boulder, once you get the fourth badge, you can go in there and get yourself toxic and a firestone. Moving on. Here we have a double battle. We're gonna trigger this on purpose.
good. Oh, come on. This should be pretty quick. Those guys. Let's see if we got anything from pickup. Yep, we did. Get these berries. Again, the Petra berries are useless to me. I can just sell them. Because I don't think I'll. Eh, maybe I might do something different and just beat all the contests with. A couple of Pokemon. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to do that after I've beaten, you know, all the uh, trainers. That could be interesting. Anyways, we're coming up to the 10 minute mark. And Banacan being Banacan, you know what it is. So, cut. And we're back. Cool trainers, or as they're now now called, Ace Trainers. They tend to have stronger Pokémon than others on a given route. Although not always. Usually rare Pokémon, too. Come on, hit yourself. Thank you. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the other thing. They also tend to carry items. But really, just delay the inevitable. And now we can talk to this guy. This guy gives you a move called Secret Power. It's a 70 base power, normal type attack, with a secondary effect that depends on the environment you're in. And this one, I think I'm going to teach to, uh... Actually, no, I'll hold on to it. Maybe I might, might want to give it to the next Pokemon I'm going to catch, which probably won't be in this episode, but the next one uh, will be Skarmory. down real quick. And, uh... Yeah, you, she'll do this to you infinitely unless you say no. I guess she doesn't get much company. But anyways, I want you to pay attention to something. Watch this. Yeah, remember what I said about the level transitions being broken? Exactly. That's not supposed to happen. But this will let me go back down here and get and swap out the bike again because there's certain things I can get with the mock bike up ahead. Anyways, I'm gonna skip back to where we were. Give me a second. 
And we're back! This time we're on the bike. And uh, that is where we're gonna go up, and there we go. Let's get off the bike. And the whole reason is, there's a trainer up here, there might actually be some items too, I forget. Don't wanna go down there. This guy's a black belt, so... The tank's a good Pokemon to use for this. And other than that, in the secret base locations, which I'll show you guys how, how that works later. That's basically the only reason to come up there. This girl gives you a berry. Pick up the ones up here. And then there's one last trainer battle we're going to do before we wrap up this episode. Let's see if we got anything from pickup. Nope. And this would be Cool Trainer Brook. Uh, an engagement lady. Um, we literally just met. I'm not ready to settle down yet. Also, the player character's like, what, 10? Is there something you want to tell us, Brooke? Would you like to take a seat, perhaps? Have a little chat? Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, uh, friends, sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's really what you meant. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to wrap it up, guys. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. And uh, next time, we're going to move on to Route 113 and capture a Skarmory. See you next time.